Welcome back to Workday Gourmet. I'm Cheryl. Today we're making two treats from one can of garbanzo beans, a homemade hummus, and whipped matcha aquafaba ice cream. Aquafaba is the drained liquid from your canned garbanzo bean. Aqua means water, faba means bean. This bean water can be whipped into a smooth and fluffy meringue with no other additives. A really nice byproduct from homemade hummus. Let's start with the hummus. Drain the chickpea and reserve the liquid. Add the chickpea to a blender. Slice half a lemon and squeeze the juice into the chickpea. Now crush and chop a clove of garlic and add it to the blender. You want to keep the garlic closer to the blade so it gets mixed in evenly. Start pulsing and add a few tablespoons of drained liquid as needed, just until you get to the desired consistency. About 4 to 6 tablespoons total, depending on how thick you like your hummus. Now add 1 to 2 tablespoons of tahini paste. Tahini is ground up sesame paste. If you can't find tahini at your local grocery store, you can make your own by grounding up sesame seed with a little bit of oil until you get a smooth paste. Blend until your hummus is smooth. Now you're ready to plate. Smear the paste evenly on a plate. Drizzle with extra virgin olive oil and add urban seasoning. I'm using paprika, sea salt, cumin, and fennel seed. Now let's move on to the aquafaba. Using a mixer, whisk the bean water until frothy. Aquafaba whips like egg whites. You can make baked meringue and macarons with it. But for this recipe, we're not going to use nearly as much sugar. Because this is not a very sweet meringue, it doesn't add enough sugar to cover the bean taste. You won't fool anyone that this is whipped cream. Instead of covering up the taste here, we're just going to work with it. Green tea and red bean is a classic flavor combination, and this slight hint of bean isn't far from that. As much as green tea works in a latte, it doesn't exactly scream for dairy, and we'll do fine without. Once the meringue reaches a thick froth like you would find on a latte, add 2 tablespoons of sugar. Continue whipping. Whip until you reach soft peak. Now add 2 teaspoons of matcha powder and whip to firm peak. Depending on how strong you like the green tea taste, you can add just the amount of matcha powder to taste. Just add 1 teaspoon at a time and taste to see how you like it. You can serve the meringue as a mousse too, but I'm going to train it in an ice cream maker because I find a low temperature really enhances the sweetness without a ton of sugar. This should take no more than 20 minutes in an ice cream maker. You should get a finished product that is dense and creamy. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Follow my blog for more fast, easy, and budget-friendly recipes. See you next time!